five things a man should never do with a woman. In any relationship, there are certain boundaries and behaviors that should be maintained to ensure mutual respect and genuine connection. Today, we will delve into five critical things a man should never do with a woman. These insights are designed to help you build a stronger, more authentic relationship and avoid common pitfalls that can undermine trust and attraction. Whether you're just starting to date or have been in a relationship for a while, these principles will guide you towards a healthier and more fulfilling partnership. One, never share all your problems. It's natural to want to share your burdens with someone you care about, but revealing all your personal problems to a woman can have unintended consequences. M many men believe that being vulnerable and open about their issues will draw a woman closer, creating a deeper bond. However, this approach can backfire. Women often look for strength and stability in their partners. They want someone who can protect and support them, not someone who appears unable to handle their own life. When you consistently share your problems, it can make you seem less capable and more dependent. This perception can erode the attraction and respect she has for you. Instead of immediately turning to her with every problem, focus on finding solutions yourself. Show her that you can tackle challenges head on. When you've resolved an issue, then you can share the experience highlighting your resilience and problem solving skills. This approach not only demonstrates your strength, but also reassures her that you can be relied upon in difficult times. Moreover, constantly talking about your problems can make the relationship feel one-sided and burdened. It may lead to her feeling overwhelmed or even responsible for your happiness. By handling your issues independently, you create a healthier dynamic where both partners contribute positively to the relationship. Remember, it's not about shutting her out completely. It's about timing and balance. Share your struggles after you've made progress towards a solution and use those moments to illustrate your ability to overcome adversity. This way, you maintain your image as a strong, dependable partner and she feels secure knowing that you can handle life's challenges together. Two, don't agree with everything she says. Agreeing with everything a woman says might seem like a good way to avoid conflict and keep her happy, but in reality, it can have the opposite effect. When you constantly agree with her, it can make you appear as if you lack your own opinions and the ability to think for yourself. This can lead to her viewing you as weak and unassertive, which is unattractive in the long run. Women like men value a partner who can engage in meaningful conversations and debates. When you have your own viewpoints and are willing to express them respectfully, it shows that you are confident and secure in your beliefs. This doesn't mean you should always disagree just for the sake of it, but rather that you should be honest and genuine in your interactions. If you find yourself nodding along to everything she says, it might be time to reassess your approach. Start by identifying the topics where you genuinely have a different perspective. When these moments arise, share your thoughts calmly and respectfully. Explain why you see things differently and be open to hearing her side as well. This kind of dialogue can deepen your connection and lead to a more balanced and dynamic relationship. Furthermore, by not agreeing with everything, you set healthy boundaries and show that you value your own opinions. This can prevent you from falling into the trap of being overly accommodating, which can lead to being taken for granted. Women are often attracted to men who are assertive and can stand their ground when necessary. It conveys strength and self-assuredness, qualities that are highly appealing. Also, don't feel obligated to accept every offer or favor she suggests. It's important to sometimes say no, even if it's something you could easily do. This helps to establish that you are not always available at her beck and call, and that your time and energy are valuable. By occasionally declining, you maintain a sense of balance and ensure that she respects your boundaries and independence. In essence, a healthy relationship thrives on mutual respect and the recognition of each partner's individuality. By confidently expressing your own opinions and occasionally setting boundaries, you foster a dynamic where both partners can grow and support each other as equals. This creates a more fulfilling and attractive relationship for both parties. 3. Don't become her boyfriend until you've known her for six months. 
Rushing into a committed relationship too quickly can lead to unforeseen complications and disappointments. It's essential to take your time and truly get to know a woman before deciding to become her boyfriend. Here's why a six month period can make a significant difference in the long term success and stability of your relationship. Firstly, the initial stages of dating are often filled with excitement and intense emotions. This honeymoon phase can cloud your judgment, making it difficult to see any potential red flags or compatibility issues. During the first few months, you're likely experiencing the best version of each other, as both of you are still trying to impress and avoid conflict. However, this idealized view isn't sustainable in the long run. By waiting at least six months, you allow time for the relationship to transition from the honeymoon phase to a more realistic and stable phase. This period lets you observe how she handles various situations, how she treats others, and how she reacts to stress or disagreements. You'll get a clearer picture of her true personality and whether it aligns with your values and expectations. Additionally, spending six months dating without the pressure of a committed relationship gives both of you the freedom to explore your compatibility without feeling trapped. You can assess how well you communicate, how much you enjoy each other's company, and whether you share similar goals and interests. It's a time to build a solid foundation based on mutual understanding and respect. Another benefit of this approach is that it helps you avoid making commitments based on superficial qualities. In the early stages, it's easy to be swayed by physical attraction or surface level traits. However, a long term relationship requires deeper compatibility and shared values. Taking your time allows you to focus on these critical aspects and make a more informed decision about your future together. Moreover, giving yourself six months before becoming her boyfriend ensures that you're not rushing into exclusivity. This period allows you to keep your options open and meet other people, which can be particularly important if you're unsure about your feelings or the relationship. It's better to take your time and be certain than to rush in and potentially regret your decision later. Finally, this cautious approach also signals to the woman that you're serious about finding the right partner. It shows that you value the importance of a strong foundation and are not willing to settle for a relationship based on fleeting emotions. This can increase her respect for you and her willingness to invest in the relationship, knowing that you're both committed to making it work. In summary, waiting six months before becoming her boyfriend is a wise strategy for ensuring a healthy and stable relationship. It allows you to move beyond the honeymoon phase, assess true compatibility, avoid superficial commitments, and build a solid foundation based on mutual respect and understanding. Taking this time can significantly increase the chances of a successful and fulfilling partnership. Four, don't buy her affection. Trying to win a woman's affection through material gifts and lavish spending might seem like a straightforward approach, but it often leads to superficial and unfulfilling relationships. Here's why relying on material things to attract a woman can backfire and what you should focus on instead. When you buy things for a woman to gain her affection, you're essentially setting a transactional tone for the relationship. This dynamic can make her see you more as a provider of goods rather than as a partner she values for your personality and character. If she's drawn to you primarily for the gifts you give, her interest might fade if the gifts stop, revealing a lack of genuine connection. Moreover, using material gifts to attract a woman often attracts the wrong kind of attention. It might appeal to those who are more interested in what they can get from you rather than who you are. This can lead to relationships that are shallow and based on convenience rather than true affection and mutual respect. In the long run, this can be emotionally draining and unsatisfying. Another issue with buying affection is that it undermines your self-worth. You might start to feel that you need to constantly spend money to keep her interested, which can lead to financial stress and a sense of inadequacy. Instead of building a relationship on mutual interests and emotional connection, you're relying on external factors that don't truly reflect your value as a person. Women, like men, value authenticity and confidence. They are attracted to partners who are secure in themselves and who can provide emotional support 
companionship, and shared experiences. Instead of focusing on material gifts, invest in building emotional intimacy. Spend quality time together, just share your interests and passions and show her your genuine self. This creates a deeper, more meaningful bond that is less susceptible to the fluctuations of material wealth. Furthermore, consistently buying gifts can create an imbalance in the relationship. It can make her feel obligated to reciprocate in ways she might not be comfortable with, or it might create an expectation that you'll always provide financially. And this can lead to resentment and tension as the relationship becomes more about maintaining a certain standard of living rather than enjoying each other's company. Instead of relying on material gifts, focus on gestures that show thoughtfulness and care. Small, meaningful actions often have a more profound impact than expensive presents. Writing her a heartfelt note, planning a special date, or simply being there for her when she needs support can show that you value her for who she is, not just as someone to impress. In conclusion, while gifts can be a nice way to show appreciation, they should not be the foundation of a relationship. True affection comes from emotional connection, shared values, and mutual respect. By focusing on these aspects, you build a relationship that is genuine, fulfilling, and resilient, free from the superficial trappings of materialism. 5. Don't mistake kindness for flirting. Interpreting a woman's kindness as romantic interest is a common mistake that can lead to awkward situations and misunderstandings. Understanding the difference between friendliness and flirting is crucial for maintaining healthy interactions and building genuine connections. Women are often naturally empathetic and social. They may smile, engage in conversations, and show interest in others as part of their friendly demeanor. This kindness should not be immediately interpreted as a sign of romantic interest. Assuming that every act of kindness is flirtation can lead to miscommunication and potentially harm the relationship, especially if she starts to feel uncomfortable or pressured. To navigate this, it's important to pay attention to the context and consistency of her behavior. One effective method to gauge her interest is the ping pong approach. Imagine every conversation as a game of ping pong where the ball goes back and forth between players. In a similar way, a conversation flows with both parties asking questions, responding, and showing interest. If you find yourself asking all the questions and she's not reciprocating, it's likely that she's just being polite rather than interested. Moreover, look for signs of genuine engagement. When a woman is interested, she will often go out of her way to continue the conversation, ask you questions, and show curiosity about your life. She will make an effort to spend time with you, initiate contact, and respond positively to your advances. If these signs are absent, it's best to interpret her behavior as friendliness rather than flirtation. Misreading kindness as flirting can lead to uncomfortable situations where you might push for a deeper connection than she's willing to have. This can create tension and might even damage the existing friendly relationship. It's crucial to respect her boundaries and understand that kindness does not equate to romantic interest. Building a strong foundation of communication is key. If you're unsure about her feelings, it's okay to ask for clarity in a respectful manner. Express your interest subtly and see how she responds. If she indicates that she's not interested in a romantic relationship, respect her stance and continue to interact with her as a friend if both of you are comfortable with that. Furthermore, Understanding this distinction can improve your social interactions overall. Um, it allows you to build better platonic relationships without the pressure of potential romantic involvement. By respecting boundaries and interpreting social cues accurately, you create a more respectful and comfortable environment for both yourself and the women you interact with. In summary, not mistaking kindness for flirting is essential for maintaining healthy and respectful relationships. Paying attention to context, using the ping-pong approach to gauge interest, and respecting boundaries are crucial steps in ensuring that your interactions are genuine and appropriate. By doing so, you build a foundation of trust and respect, leading to more fulfilling and authentic connections. Conclusion Navigating relationships with respect and understanding is crucial for building meaningful connections. By avoiding these five key pitfalls, 
sharing all your problems, agreeing with everything she says, rushing into a relationship, buying her affection, and mistaking kindness for flirting, you can foster a more balanced and genuine partnership. Focus on authenticity, mutual respect, and clear communication to create a strong foundation for a healthy and fulfilling relationship. Remember, it's the small, thoughtful actions and genuine interactions that truly matter in the long run.